Many stacking videos focus on the question, should I stack silver or gold? Well, over the years I've found that silver becomes bulky and is harder to hide my purchases from my wife. Previously on Silver Heist. To see more, please subscribe. So this video is about a gold unboxing that my wife doesn't know about. Am I going to get in trouble? Isn't money the source of many problems in relationship? And isn't gold and silver money? There is definitely potential for problems. So while many stackers go to great lengths to say this is not financial advice, how many will risk offering this is not relationship advice? I think that the discussion is worth the risk and I will prove that no man ever gotten in trouble for buying this. What is this? What is in the box? Stay to the end to find out and stay to the end to see if I got in trouble. I can see the comments of this video already. This guy is a wuss. In my house, we say, iron my shirt. Well, in my house, we say, Iron my shirt, please. And then I say, honey, would you like pleats or no pleats? Maybe we do, or maybe we don't share in the household chores. But I can say this, Mrs. Silverheist is out splitting firewood as we speak. No, I kid, today's two degrees out. So I'm splitting firewood tomorrow. So here's a funny observation or tip. In my stacking journey, we had previously never been a big household at buying things at Amazon or buying things online. I think our mail order purchases were basically limited to the L.L. Bean catalog. So don't be surprised when you start getting boxes from Atmex or Monument Metals that you start getting a box a month or a couple a month. Don't be surprised if like competitive shopping kicks in where it's like, oh, well, you bought your medals, so I am going to buy some medals. So don't be surprised if your spouse, after she sees you buying things online, doesn't start finding items to buy online herself. So while we may see it as we're saving money or we're preserving our wealth, from another point of view, our saving looks an awful lot like spending. So while my budget for metals is somewhat limited, but also pretty steady, I will admit I have the cheapest unboxing tool on YouTube. So a few of my earlier purchases were definitely like I'd shop for what I wanted, and then I told my wife exactly what I was getting even before I hit purchase. And then I think over time, it got a little bit more like maybe I would tell her like, oh, I bought something, it's on its way soon. And then eventually I might have gotten a little comfortable or a little too comfortable, and I'd call from work saying, oh, there's a delivery coming today that needs a signature. It should be there in about 15 minutes. So thank goodness for tracking. But when the delivery man comes knocking, the gig is up. There's only so many deliveries of ball bearings, machine parts, or things from fulfillment before questions are asked. I might be in charge of the finances, but it doesn't hurt to say the bills are paid, the town taxes were sent, and I made an extra payment on the mortgage and... There's a box of silver and gold on the way. So outside of getting fractional gold eagles, I do want to thank, I do want to thank Bullion Addict for sharing this idea. And that is using a nickel tube to store fractional Perth mint coins that come in capsules. So this is my Lunar Series and Kookaburra 1 10th ounce gold and platinum collection. So I think stackers can debate the value of having silver or gold or other precious metals in terms of what's 
more valuable to hold, but also what is easier to store. So while people may say, what is your personal gold to silver ratio? I'm going to flip that question on its head and say, what is the heist to Mrs. Silver heist ratio? So as a stacker of precious metals, what if Mrs. Silver heist had her own private collection? So one way to have a supportive spouse might be to share the wealth. So let's see what's inside. So here are some of the items that have been acquired for Mrs. Silverheist in the past. This is a Disney Mickey coin, which she likes. But this is one of her favorite coins, the Fantasia which she acquired by heisting it at the first annual Silver Heist Yankee Swap party. This was another Yankee Swap acquisition. A kookaburra. This is a really cool coin from 2001. So this is another Yankee Swap acquisition. A Hera, goddess of Olympus, with her throne and her lion and peacock. And as I've learned from my good friend, Silver Stealer and winning image photography, no man went wrong by buying his wife a horsey coin. Something unique from the Royal Mint, a silver necklace, the Mayflower. And since Valentine's is coming up, a very rare a very rare Geiger heart, one ounce, that I bought many years ago. All right, so that's some of the treasure of Mrs. Silverheist. But let's find out what is in this box. All right, so what did I just buy from Monument Metals and am I going to be in trouble? Here's a different purchase I recently had gotten from Atmex. And that is this, the 2023 Kookaburra with two Kookaburras. This, I like this design. So not only have I started to buy kookaburras each year because there's a new one ounce silver design, I had also started buying the one tenth ounce gold coins because each year there was a new design and each year there was a one tenth ounce gold version. I can pick up a silver coin each year and I can pick up a gold coin each year and now I can even start stacking platinum, even if it's just getting a one small piece a year. So this is my working theory that no man ever got in trouble for buying this. So what is this? So I'm gonna show you what this is and then I'm gonna prove my theory. But the gold purchase that my wife didn't know about uh-oh, am I in trouble or not? It is this, four nines fine gold, still features Queen Elizabeth. 2023, one tenth ounce, four nine fine gold kookaburra. So here's my working theory. No man ever got in trouble with his wife for buying a gold kookaburra. Okay, here she is. Let's see if I'm in trouble. What are you doing? I'm making a video. You wanna see the new gold purchase? New gold as in how new? New gold as I just got this in the mail the other day. Here you go. Ooh. Check it out. Very nice. It's a keeper. Thank you, I appreciate it. Hey, wait a minute. No, no. Where are you going with that? <laughs>